All right, so for those of you guys that own the Model 3 or the Model Y, you guys are in for a big surprise here. So for this video, we're going to be talking about the acceleration boost that most of you guys haven't been interested in picking up just because it doesn't make too much of a difference. It's only for those fanatics, speed fanatics specifically, that really want to purchase a $2,000 and it's even a little bit more expensive up here in Canada, roughly about $3,000 for those of you guys that want that extra kick right off of the line. Now this has been confirmed by Elon Musk himself on Twitter. There was a user that asked if acceleration boost can include track mode and this is what makes the performance model stand out over the long range model. That was the only real deciding factor between me buying the long range versus the performance and now the gap has even gotten smaller. There's not a lot of reasons to buy the performance anymore other than the wheels and the brakes. A lot of other changes have been made recently where it makes the performance just not worth the extra money. Now we'll talk a little bit about that later in the video but let's talk about the long range and the acceleration boost. Alright so like I said a Twitter user by the name of Bennett asked if we can get the track mode and this is where it disables the front or the rear wheel just lets it go a little bit more. Now on top of that it even disables your traction control 100% and it gives you better regenerative braking and that makes a huge difference in the world of track. You want to make sure that your battery is cooled enough before you hit the track and that is something that the long range and the standard range models were lacking. Now at least the long range is going to be getting this feature. No words whether the rear wheel drive is ever going to get anything like that but from the looks of it it doesn't seem like Elon is ever going to give the standard range any love. That's just that. If you're going to pick up the lowest model most likely you're not going to get the top end features. So anyways Elon Musk decides to say okay and that gives us the confirmation that it will be coming up in a later build. So a couple things to note here is that it's probably not going to get the top end speed. That is going to increase the limit to what the performance has. Most likely this has to do with the motors themselves as well as lacking the powerful brakes that the performance model has. So although you're going to get the track mode which is the main highlight feature of the performance model, you're not going to get some of the hardware features outside. So that comes with the performance brakes, the red Brembo brakes and you're not going to get the 20 inch induction wheels which which look fantastic and on top of that you're not going to get the lower ride height and that brings me to the second point here and that talks about the lower ride height that has been completely removed off of Tesla's website for the Model 3 at least and that just means that the performance model is now pretty much in line with the long range. Maybe that 0.4 inch doesn't make much of a difference compared to performance to the long range and Tesla just decides to scrap that overall just to make it a little bit more streamlined when they are building their vehicles and to be honest I don't really notice it when I am parked next to a performance model it literally looks the same ride height to me so uh, that's pretty much the reason why now if you guys are like me and you have a long range you're super happy that you're gonna get a performance feature you can literally upgrade all the external features to look like a performance and it literally is going to be a performance but for those of you guys that own a performance model the performance model 3 you're gonna be a little bit sad here because there are a lot of negatives now your car is not gonna be that much more special when you're right next to a long range dual motor just because it's going to have track mode the ride height is going to be pretty much the same and a lot of the differences are no longer different so what do you guys feel about this let me know in the comments below if you guys own a performance model how do you feel about this upgrade now that is definitely something you guys have to think about I'm not sure how that is when you're picking up your car but in my eyes at the long range is so much more attractive now especially the range and of course for those of you guys that have the performance model just know that you do have the performance variant and it is the best of the best is still much quicker than the long range model so you guys don't have to worry about uh, beating us off the line or anything like that you're 100% gonna take off right before we do so don't worry about that too much but just know that a lot of the long range owners are gonna be a lot more happy and you're gonna see a lot more of them at the red light with you and on track with you as well so anyways that is the news for this week that is super exciting I'm super happy to hear this to be honest because I do have a long range model 3 and I'm going to be definitely testing it out letting you guys know as soon as I have the build update um, I do have the acceleration boost as well so that's just going to be the best of both worlds for me honestly uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please make sure to hit that subscribe button that bell notification and once again this is John peace out